My guest today is Larry Williams, a world famous trader dating back over a half a century, well known in the trading world and a very successful trader. Larry, let's talk about uh, your connection to TradeShark. First of all, how did that come about? Well, I'm always looking for software that I can use. I want to know exactly what's the newest state of the art products are out there because people that follow me are always saying, what should I use? How about this? How about that? So I, I watch things to see what new products are. Of course, I've known uh, the Mendelssohn family for um, um, most of my 50 years, I suppose, uh, Lane, of course, and prior to that, his father. Uh, so just because people want to know what's new, uh, I need to know that. I, I want to be topical. It's so easy for a guy my age to just fall asleep and, and f forget about what's happening right now. So it re really from an interest point of what's going on in this business right here, right now, clearly it's Trade Shark. Recently you've released some private stock indicators not available anywhere else. Why have you decided to do that now? Well, for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, my association with the Mendelssohn family uh, has spawned a couple generations now. Um, so that's part of it. Uh, we've known each other a long time, so I have confidence and trust. Um, and also I think it opens up some opportunities for people that weren't using my indicators to be able to see some of my indicators. Typically my people are maybe in other software. So it was good to let other people see Larry Williams' work as I'm entering you know, my golden years. It's nice to get new people to see uh, what's going on. But more importantly, the association where people can be uh, helped with these indicators. Because just to have an indicator really isn't of any value. If somebody doesn't teach you how to use the indicator, it's not going to help you. You'll probably get in trouble. So to be able to have that, uh, an association where people can help my people and their people with the way I look and the way I think about the markets. Well, wow, that's great. That's an important point you bring up about you know, there are a lot of indicators out there. How, do your, how are yours different and how, does, how do they work in TradeShark? Let's first talk about indicators in general. Most indicators, I think, are redundant. That's nice to have redundancy if an airplane pilot. If you lose one fuselage link, you want another and another and another. You want backup. But traders, and I look at their charts, they have 15, 20 indicators, and they're really all saying the same thing. They're an oscillator one form or another. My approach to trading is unique in that each indicator serves a different purpose. One may be to pr uh, measure professional accumulation. One to measure what the public is doing. One to measure momentum in the market. One to measure what the commitment of trade reporter is doing, what the commercials are doing. So each indicator stands on its own. They're not redundant. There's not one more indicator. Each indicator, whether it's mine or anybody else's, on your charts needs to have a specific purpose. And each of mine fills that, oh, this is going to show us accumulation. This is going to show us momentum. This is going to show us trend. So it's a synthesis of all these that allows us to be more successful traders. So talk about how I know when to use which indicator. Are they running all of them all the time and they'll give signals or how does that work? Well, the way I look at indicators is a little unique in that to me, indicators set up a condition in a marketplace. So I'm much more concerned first about the setup because, you know, Tim, if prices cross the 10 day moving average in a bear market, it's not as bullish as the prices cross above a 10 day moving average in a bull market. So it's all about the setup as accumulation coming to the market. Well, you can see that in trade chart. Our professionals buying the market, we can see that in trade chart. That's the setup. Then you can come into the entry with my tools or tools that they have in trade chart or maybe a trader's own tools. But initially it's let's find a unique condition in the market where when these conditions exist, most of the time there's been a big up move or a big down move. So I'm, I'm not a technical trader really, Tim. I'm a conditional trader. I'm looking for conditions in the marketplace. I find the conditions, then I can hone in, focus my attention on this market at this particular time to be long or be short. Larry, you got traders that do short-term trading and long-term trading. Some of them may have careers. They can't be there to watch the markets you know, all the time when they're open. Talk about how your indicators work for both of those groups of people. The indicators really are developed for me and I don't watch the markets very much anymore. When I develop them, I did, so they can be applied on a short-term basis, even on an intraday basis, or on a daily or a weekly basis. Because my students throughout the world all have different time frames. And it was unique when I started developing them, I noticed that they transferred to other time frames. So the setup tools, though, are primarily weekly tools, but the trading tools are daily or intraday. So I'm trying to cover all these, uh, the facets of the market with the indicators. So somebody's not left hanging like, well, I'm in a long-term position, what do I do? Or a short-term trade, so well, I don't want to know about a 15-week moving average, which I don't use, but to illustrate the point. So my tools, interestingly enough, applicable to all time frames. 
And is that the indicator of a, of a good indicator, if you will, that it does work on all time frames and that it works across a, a lot of different markets? Well, I think it's important that an indicator is stable, that it works in this market and this country, not just that it works in corn and wheat and sugar, but that it, we, that it works in uh, uh, red beans in Japan or that it works in saffron in India that these indicators need to transfer not only to our markets but throughout the world because if they do, then we know they're stable, they're reliable, our chances of winning are much higher. All right, and if a trader is just starting out or whether they've got years of experience doing this, do they each have, these indicators have an advantage for each one of those types of groups? Yeah, there's advantages and disadvantages to both actually. The, the disadvantage of somebody who's been trading a long time, they probably have learned a lot of bad habits. And those are the people who I see who have 35 indicators on their chart and they're all an oscillator one form or another. They have my percent R, they have Bollinger percent B, they have stochastic, they have CCI index. They're all the same thing, they're redundant. So they're too much into a group. And the door that I open up, as we've talked about, is to bring in tools that really matter, that show accumulation in the marketplace, show unique patterns in the marketplace, show seasonality in the marketplace. Those things are real causes that drive prices. A new trader coming into the market has a real big problem. What do I do? There's this, there's that. Where do I go? It's like, ah, oh, there's too much stuff. So, and I'm not the only person that has a good indicator. There's a lot of people that are real successful, that have developed good tools. A lot of my friends have. You need to find tools that fit your trading style. Maybe mine, maybe somebody else's. But those indicators, and this is a really critical point, they each need to serve a purpose as opposed to just throw a bunch of indicators that you read about in a book. And how important is it to take every signal rather than choosing which ones you're going to decide to take with those indicators? Well, that's what I think my indicators do best in TradeShark is they focus all of our attention on the few times we want to take signals. Um, so I actually don't trade as often as people think I do. I don't want to trade. Trading is risky. You can lose money trading. A lot of people have lost a lot of money trading. So I want to trade less, not more often. So I want to find these unique situations, which I can with trade sharks. Say, yeah, this market's set up to rally. The odds are way in my favor now for prices to go up. So that's the purpose of my indicators is to focus our attention on these unique opportunities in the market as opposed to, hey, there's another buy signal. One line cross another line, big deal. It has to be set in the context of what the market's doing. What's the setting on stage? Is this the third scene where the person's gonna get murdered and we're gonna find out who did it? Or is this the first scene we don't know where this play is going? My indicators say, okay, there's gonna be a murder on stage right now. That's the purpose of them. And there are other indicators in Trade Trick, of course, and your exclusive ones too. Do you combine the two to make trading decisions? Certainly, you can do that. I mean, the more the merrier, right? Uh, you could also use the analogy of somebody wants a second opinion. Somebody says, you know, uh, you're, you're sick, you need to see a doctor. And you say, okay, well that doctor says it's this and that doctor says it's that. So sure, it, it, uh, another indicator, if it's a reliable indicator, can be a good second opinion. But it's gotta be a reliable indicator, otherwise it's a bad second opinion. And how about the actual programming, the real nuts and bolts of the indicator? I know that's an important part to make sure the formulas are right in the software. What kinds of things did you do to, to make sure that those were correct? Important, oh my gosh. You Google some of my indicators I wrote about years ago, uh, 50 years ago and, uh, on the internet, and they'll show you formulas. I don't even know the formula. It's not my tool, it's got my name on it, not my indicator, not the math I developed. So I had to sit down and work with the programmers to make certain they're the exactly the same tool I use. Not close to it, but exactly. That had to look exactly like what I have on my charts, my programmers working with their programmers. So this is a replication that's exactly what Larry Williams does, not approximate, not close to Larry's indicator. This is Larry Williams' indicator. Because it's available exclusively in TradeShark, uh, their team's been specially trained by you how to use these indicators. Talk about how it helps a trader. Well, let's talk about how it helps me. I don't have to have people calling me and emailing me. And since I'm phasing into retirement, uh, the users of TradeShark will have someone who will carry this on and can work with them. They've been instructed, they understand the indicators, they don't know how to work with them and explain them, which is great for me because I just don't have the time for it. I get three, 400 emails a day. I just cannot handle it anymore. So to have somebody who can sit down with serious traders and say, yeah, this is what Larry thinks, this is what Larry would say, well, that's great help to me. It takes a lot of pressure off me, and it helps 
carry on my work to other people who will become successful traders. And would you say that the, the exclusive indicators in Trade Truck, is this the best way to try to replicate the success you've had in trading? It's certainly the easiest way. Um, yeah, it's all there. Uh, it's there for a trader to learn. You've got support. You've got the indicators. You have the markets to trade. Well, you're way ahead of the game with that. And so if I'm not the smartest guy in the world, I can still use your indicators to make money in the markets. You raise an interesting point. This business of trading has nothing to do with being smart. I know some very, very smart people that have tried to trade and they've lost a lot of money because they're just too smart. They overthink everything. They want to optimize, re-engineer everything, take it to some nth degree. And they're saying, hey, this is a trading. I'm not always going to be right, so I need money management. And I have some good basic tools. Learn to use the tools. This is not about being smart. It's about being intelligent, being kind of more street smart than, than uh, university professor smart. Like, hey, the market's against me. I can't argue with the market. You know, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, it's really about how you respond to the markets as opposed to how you intellectualize things. It sounds like you can provide the indicators, you can point the way, but the trader has to have the discipline to follow them and take the action when you say it's time. Discipline is almost the right word. I think that a trader has to have confidence because without confidence, you won't have any discipline. So by paper trading, by looking how the indicators work, by having the people at Trade Shark show you the indicators, you're going to develop the confidence. So when it comes time to pull the trigger, you can pull the trigger. Win or lose, you know what to do. The nice thing about my material, I think, is sure, we're going to have some winning trades, but we're going to have losing trades too. Well, how do you respond to that? Here's our steps. This is what you do. So we have all the bases covered. Entry, exits, profits, losses, it's all there. Larry, I know that there's a lot behind these indicators. You've got a, 50 years of knowledge behind these indicators, but how simple is it? If I'm not a, a, a real savvy computer user, can I still use them to make money? If you can Google, Google, then you can use my indicators. It's really that simple. The nice thing about TradeShark that I demanded for my indicators, that it be simple. Not something you have to program right. You just literally click on a button and the indicator is there. So if you can click on a button, you got the indicator. It has to be that simple because I don't want people having to learn how to program. They have to learn how to trade. They have to be successful traders, not programmers. So here's the indicator. Boom, boom. Put them on your chart. They're there. You're ready to go. It's got to be visual. It's got to be quick. It's got to be easy or it's not going to be approved of by Larry Williams. Larry, thanks for your time today. We've been talking with Larry Williams, world-class trader and the author of the exclusive indicators in TradeShark.